Iceland's beleaguered government faces the music as protesters in Reykjavik demand resignations from the top down. Its handling of the financial crisis that's plunged the economy into chaos has triggered the backlash. As the demonstrators chanted outside the country's parliament building, Iceland's prime minister insisted his government had the support of its coalition partner, the Social Democratic Alliance. At the National Theatre, the Social Democratic Alliance's biggest and most influential district was meeting to vote on a resolution urging the party to pull out. It passed the resolution and is also calling for a general election no later than May. The anti-government demonstrators moved their protest outside the theatre building to press home their message. I think we need to change everything from the base. But it's a good start to get the government away and have elections. But I don't think that's the end of this. It will take more. Protests against the government and central bank have spiralled into regular fixtures in the normally placid nation since October. That was the point when the currency plunged and the financial system collapsed under the weight of billions of dollars of foreign debt incurred by banks. The ruling Independence Party National Congress is due to open next week with an agenda that includes revisiting its long-standing opposition to European Union membership. Paul Chapman, Reuters. Thank you.